What's up YouTube? Unpopular opinion time. Many fans across the NFL do not approve of the Giants selection of Daniel Jones. The Giants fans wanted Dwayne Haskins and while I'm not going to say whether or not I like or dislike this pick because it's over and well who cares about my opinion, I will analyze the potential upside of this former Duke Blue Devil and soon to be the heir apparent to the Giants polarizing quarterback Eli Manning. Yes, I will defend Daniel Jones. I think the best way to start this off is by making a pros and cons list. I mean, pros and cons lists are not only good for sports, but they're good for everything. So we'll start off with the pros. He's smart, he can make adjustments, and on the pre-snap, I mean, he's almost excellent. He knows exactly what to do. Uh, he can read blitzes, do all the things that you need to do in the NFL before the snap. He's athletic, and he can run. He has that ability, although he does have some injury problems with running, and he um, probably should slide a little bit more, maybe get out of bounds a little bit more. He does take some hits. He has great accuracy in the short to medium range. Um, he's not much of a deep ball thrower. You're not going to get that with this guy. He, he's more of a dink, dunk, five-yard pass guy, and that's just who he is. Now let's go to the cons. He can get frazzled under pressure, but to be fair, he had a horrible offensive line. He has a decent arm. It's nowhere near Haskins, but it's not horrible. He's not much of a deep ball threat, but can be accurate sometimes. So that, those are basically our pros and cons. So let's talk about what you need to know about Daniel Jones. He had a bad supporting cast, especially with wide receivers. They made many many drops this year 38 I mean that is a lot to have in one year he was practically a one-man army at Duke I mean he carried this football team to an eight win season last year and uh, it was pretty difficult he also dealt with some injuries which is important you know injuries are something that NFL teams have to look at he's 6'5 221 pounds so he's got good size uh, he's a game manager who can probably be all right in the NFL you could probably plug this guy in and he would be decent, comparable to Ryan Tannehill. So he has a, uh, not a low floor, a high floor, probably just a lower ceiling. He was also coached by David Cutcliffe, who is a quarterback guru who coached the Mannings. So as you can see, there's a little bit of connection between Cutcliffe and the Giants and Eli Manning. So that's basically some of the stuff you have to know about Daniel Jones. Now I think this will pay off. I, I do believe in Daniel Jones. I'm going to go ahead and say it. He will be a good quarterback in the NFL. That's my bold prediction. And it's because he has incredible mechanics. He's intelligent. He's so smart. So smart. Um, and, you know, while he might not impress you, like Patrick Mahomes with the giant arm or Dwayne Haskins. I mean, Dwayne Haskins also have not, has knocks on him. Guys, you have to think about that. Uh, he's kind of inaccurate sometimes with his ball, but obviously uh, all these teams are going to try and fix the kinks with all the quarterbacks and, you know, all the players. So it's, it's not like any quarterback is going into this draft perfect. There haven't been many that could be labeled perfect going into the NFL draft. Let me know what you think about Daniel Jones after watching this video. Does it change your mind? Does it stay the same? Uh, I think that Daniel Jones could be good sitting behind Eli Manning with some good mentorship. He could become a great player in the National Football League. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think about Daniel Jones.